Hey, what's up guys? Daniel here, and this week's vlog is going to be rather short. Let's get to it. This week I'm going to be talking about decisions. People make choices, okay? These choices define who we become. If you choose right, you become a good man or a good woman. Whoever you are. <laughs> If you choose wrong, um, it can be a little iffy. For example, say that you're faced with a choice to hang with your friends and not do homework, or do your homework and not have a social life. <laughs> you choose to do homework and not have a social life. You grow up to have a good job and stuff like that, but you don't exactly have a social life. You're pretty much Batman without the Batman part. <laughs> you know how they say actions have consequences, right? Those are those consequences, unfortunately. Say that you and your friends have an argument about something that you've chosen. For example, I chose not to date because of a past experience, you know? That's all ancient history. And let's face it, along the way, it's going to affect the people you're around. The decisions you make, the stupid things you do, they affect everyone, not just you, everyone. That being said, you have to consider your choices wisely. You don't know who you're going to affect or how it's going to affect you. You gotta be careful about that. Say you quit your job and you can't find one. That's a that was a lousy choice, but at least you're trying to look for another one. Don't get me wrong, I found, I managed to find a job, update on that. It's going good. You choose to support something that doesn't feel right. If you support these things and you know that these don't sound right, <laughs> it means you're a wuss. Always be passive about things. You have to roll a pair, make a wise decision, you know? I can't control my friend's decisions. My friends can't control my decision. They can try and talk me out of the decision, or I can try and talk them out of a lousy choice. But sometimes people just don't listen, you know? And they have a reason not to. It's because of their beliefs and experiences, you know? Exactly criticize someone based on their beliefs and experiences, right? Well, I mean, you can because bring more speech, but still. Still. I'm getting a little preachy on you, huh? Not everybody's perfect. It's all a matter of trial and error. You screw up on something, you choose to do something else. Wait. You screw up on something. You have a chance to change that decision at a different point in time, by the way. What happens in the past is in the past. You can't change the past. However, if the past comes back to you, you're caught in a little crossroad. And that crossroad's going to have two choices. A good choice and a bad choice. See what I did there? It's a 
a little shady on this side, and sunlight on this side. You get the point. But yeah, if that choice comes to face you again, will you make the same decision, or will you make a different choice? Say you're offered, like, a job, and this job is iffy. Depends on how it goes. We choose to decline this job or accept it. Those are things that you have to think about because, again, actions have consequences. You can't not feed an animal and expect it to be fine a month later. It's going to be dead by then. Even though people will sometimes listen to you when you're trying to talk them out of this of a bad decision, how's it going to you know change anything? You have to be able to learn from these experiences. If you make a lousy decision and pay the price, you have to learn from that, man. I mean, you can't make a good choice and expect to, to learn a lot from it. Unless if you just get a job, then you have a right to learn a few things. But anyway, besides the point, lousy decisions tend to have, well, consequences. Good choices have consequences too, but they're minor. Keep that in mind. Bad choices have greater consequences, and these bad decisions and consequences will teach you something, man. Say that, for instance, you swear off dating, whether you're straight or, you know, gay. I won't judge. Won't judge. But yeah two decisions you have to choose from. You can choose not to date and miss out on a lot of things including La Bamba. So yeah, you're going if you choose not to date, you're missing out on the fun stuff. The fun stuff that will kill you eventually unless you're careful. Do not show this video to your kids. 